Hi all, so I was perusing YouTube and came across this article someone linked to. Why Pro SJW Game Developer Tale of Tales is going out of business. And just by the title alone, I can already tell you why. But let's get into it and discuss. Indie developer Tale of Tales announced last week that they're closing up shop due to the commercial failure of their game Sunset. The announcement was made in a blog post from their site. Barely over 4,000 copies of the game had been sold, despite generally positive reviews from big-name press such as IGN and GameSpot. But what is Sunset? I have a feeling we're going to learn why representation in video games is hardly a priority when it comes to creating something for entertainment, don't you? Sunset is the kind of game that every SJW says they want. It stars a black woman named Angela Burns, who is working as a maid for a Central American bachelor named Gabriel Ortega. Whoa, hold on now. Is this game promoting a stereotype of black people only getting janitorial-type work? Strike one. Angela is tasked with doing mundane chores, but is also given an opportunity to look around Gabriel's apartment. The game is narrative-driven, so you don't get to do anything exciting besides exploring the apartment. And there is a war going on in the background. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This can't be real. It has to be satire, but no. Only one paragraph in, and I couldn't even begin to fathom why the game failed. Can't leave the apartment? Strike two. The game's graphics are in 3D, but they look worse than a PS2 game by 2015 standards. Based on that description, I can guess that none of our readers would be remotely interested in playing the game. Certainly not for 1999, and maybe not even for free. If you want to see how uninspiring the game is, take a look at any of the numerous Let's Play videos of it on YouTube. Done. If you think I'm being too hard on the game and its creators, there's a good reason. If you feel sorry for them, don't. Tale of Tales brought their ruin upon themselves thanks to their pretentious hipster attitude towards gaming and hiring Lee Alexander's consulting firm agency. Yikes! Hipsters and Lee Alexander? Yeah, it's that bad. Back from Gwinnett. He just unloaded, though, deep to center field. How far is this baby gonna go? Out onto the concourse level. Nailed it. For those of you who don't remember who Lee Alexander is, she said this. The people who want this, I have to believe that the people who want this are as numerous as the number of creepy fanboys who will try to astroturf me. And how many games sold? This is what happens when you have a feminist agenda selling video games. Tale of Tales was founded by Uriah Harvey and Michael Salmon in Ghent, Belgium back in 2002. The more and more I look at Harvey and Salmon's background, the more I notice that neither of them seem particularly interested in video games themselves. Here's an excerpt from Michael Salmon's Patreon page. Instead, I think this clip of what Tale of Tales is actually about will tell a little bit more than his Patreon. But if you want to read it, links is always down below. We're not reacting against games. That's, that's not what we're interested in. What the, the, the point for us is that we find games not interesting enough. We don't find them beautiful enough. We don't find them immersive enough. Um, so that's where we, we, we work. Um, we do realize that that's a matter of taste, and to some extent, we are catering to people who basically don't like games. And that's how you make money. Cater to people that don't like you. Strike four. But wait, don't we know someone who's like this? I'm going to show you a remix that I just finished this weekend and no one else has seen. <laughs> one person has seen it. It's a soundtrack of one song, except I'm doing video games. So it's not exactly a fandom. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. If that wasn't enough, Tale of Tales is unwilling to take responsibility for their own failure. They want the video game industry to conform to their ideas of gaming. Tale of Tales would also like to blame capitalism since gamers vote with their wallets and no one is interested in giving hipsters money out of the kindness of their hearts. Well, let's be fair here. We know people do, in fact, give money to crap all the time. But let's take a look at what Tale of Tales' idea of gaming is. Okay, so this was our, our unfinished, epic first game. It was instrumental in helping us figure out um, what we didn't like about games in general. Um, also, it, uh, so we decided to just leave all this stuff out when we made our game. No competition, no genre, no guns, no dying, no game over, no levels, no boss rounds, no scores, no leveling, no canned storylines, no bleak personalities, no buttons, no menus, no icons, no words, no motion sickness, no pseudorealism, no cartoons, no pre-rendered backgrounds, no more superficial juvenile games, no pre-chewed plots. So, in other words, this is what Tale of Tales' idea of what gaming is. 
Lemonade? Please, I made it just for you. You are my best friend. Mmm, this really hits the spot. Mm, doesn't it though? You make really good lemonade, Scratchy. Ha ha ha, thank you, Itchy. Lastly, it should come to no surprise that Lee Alexander was part of this game. Her disdain for gamers, as shown in her infamous Gamers Are Dead article, makes her the perfect consultant to work with Tale of Tales, since she wanted to reach a broader audience. Not. Alexander might get the whole art as games perspective, but when it comes to actually understanding gamers and what they find appealing, she fails drastically. Exactly. We don't hang games on our walls and exclaim, Wow, this game was so artistic. Can games be artistic? Sure. But that isn't the primary reason why games are played, as Tale of Tales found out. Finally, don't hire Lee Alexander or her consulting firm, Agency. You could probably get better advice for free or much cheaper than what Agency was charging. Hell, I'd be happy to consult on a game if I was asked. I think marketing and economics are an SJW's worst nightmare. It tears their ideology to shreds. But it only goes to show why Gamergate exists. And if a game like Sunset can get excellent reviews, then someone is being paid off. <laughs>